Uh, Larry, let's have a quick uh, recap of the games. We'll put them up on okay. the screen. Let's go first with uh, Orodion versus Nakamura. It was a dull affair most of the way. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> opening, but then it, it then it became deadly dull after, especially after the uh, Aronian's very ultra solid eight e four. Not messing around with any gambits. Okay, right. then we have board game two is lively, a lively struggle. Yeah. It looked like uh, Anand had a nice position, but uh, Let's, Karyakin... Yeah, take, us, take us back to, to one of the key moments in this game. Uh, right, yeah, around, this, this, right around... Right here, around here, this fantastic, here. fantastic 15c4 by Sergei uh, with this idea of bishop a3, and it was just around here. We weren't sure about knight d4 or bishop b2. Uh, yeah, actually, this position, yeah, bishop b2 yeah. may have been an improvement. Over knight yeah. d4, yeah. With the intention of bishop takes f, if knight takes c6, takes, takes, and you take on e4, edge, looks like an edge for white. Yeah. There's also that's queen takes thought, h, yeah. yeah, that's better than queen takes h, h6, queen e5. Yeah. And uh, so after like bishop. Uh, yeah, yeah. So edge it for white, like no question about way. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, let's have a look at that. So after knight d4, which was played, uh, it actually looked to us like Anand had a slight advantage. Um, after Even this here, he may, have missed, he may have missed something around here. Yeah, yeah no, then maybe Bishop d6 was an improvement for um, Karyakin to be followed by, if Queen f5, you know, maybe Bishop f4 or something. Yeah, right? it's certainly yeah. uh, not not as good as the position Karyakin had a few moves earlier before this uh, before messing up with with knight d4. And after this looked, uh, this looked yeah, equal. After Anand played queen g5, which we thought was not a very ambitious move, we reached this end game. Uh, still some complications in it, as we saw, but uh, in the end, it was probably always going to be a draw. And then, cop, and then our last game was a mixed affair. Looked like uh, pretty equal early on. Maybe yeah. Kramnik had some play. Where? Um, yeah, this key moment here with B five and D four was uh, excellent. G six um, was interesting. Yeah, too. an ex excellent little passage of play by Caruana around here, starting with move fifteen B five, and now with Queen C four. Uh, he actually gained a small advantage. So rook takes e4, and now queen takes e7 was the move that we uh, or knight did g5 like. Knight g5. We really like knight g5 with the idea that if d5, you just play the queen back to d3, <clears throat> and if if the knight goes to f5, then queen f3 and all black's pieces are hanging. So right. uh, without the idea or of... Or knight e5, uh, queen h3, you know. Even better winning. So without these knight f4 or knight e5 moves being a problem, rook e5 looked best. And then knight takes d takes e6 looks like a very risky move. But from for the best of our abilities, it looks like everything was holding for white and he would maintain a pawn advantage for minimal compensation for black. So a real chance for Caruana there. Yeah, maybe queen e7, who knows. Uh, then we have... Uh that was it then. So pretty, it, pretty so. interesting, pretty interesting tournament. Yeah. Okay. So that's a little recap of the games. Uh, three draws today. <clears throat> One slightly dull affair uh, involving Hikaru Nakamura, who could have pushed for uh, a tie for first had he won. But uh, but in the end, a fair tournament. Um, now there will be uh, a rapid tournament with the players involved uh, tomorrow, but that won't be covered live on ICC for the best of my knowledge. But uh, there will be a game of the day, I believe, with you, Larry, which is always going to yeah. be entertaining. So uh, get uh, get yourselves ready if you wanted to catch up a little bit on today's action. Um, a little bit later, probably, uh, certainly by tomorrow, but maybe even a bit later today, that, that'll be up. Um, so check that out. And, uh, yeah, so I think we can wrap up now thanks for joining us and thanks for your interesting and lively comments uh, in channel 165 as always um we we enjoy having you guys contribute to the show uh this has been larry christensen and myself david smerton wrapping up the last round of zurich thanks for joining us
take us back to to one of the key moments in this game. Uh, right yeah, around, this, this, right around right here. Around, this fantastic, yeah. fantastic fifteen c four by Sergey uh, with this idea of bishop a three, and it was just around here. We weren't sure about knight d four or bishop b two. Uh, yeah, actually, this position, yeah, now Bishop B2 yeah. may have been an improvement over yeah. Knight D4. Yeah, with the intention of Bishop takes F, if Knight takes C6, takes, takes, and you take on E4, edge, looks like an edge for white. Yeah, There's that's also what Queen we takes thought, H, yeah. yeah, that's better than Queen takes H, H6, Queen E5. Yeah, and uh, well, after like, Bishop uh, B... Yeah, yeah, so it did look white, like no that question would be the about Uh, Larry, let's have a quick uh, recap of the games. We'll put them up on okay. the screen. Let's go first with um, Orodion versus Nakamura. It was a dull affair most of the way. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> opening, but then it, it then it became deadly dull after, especially after the uh, Orodion's very ultra solid eight e four. Not messing around with any gambits. Okay, right. then we have. Board game two was lively, a lively struggle. Yeah. It looked like uh, Anon had a nice position, but uh, let's, Karyakin, let's take us uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, let's he, have a look at that. So after knight d4, which was played, uh, it actually looked to us like Anand had a slight advantage. Um, after Even this here, he may, have missed, he may have missed something around here. Yeah, yeah no, th maybe bishop d6 was an improvement. For um, Karyakin to be followed by if Queen F five, you know, maybe Bishop F four or something. Yeah, right? it's certainly yeah. Uh, not not as good as the position Karyakin had a few moves earlier before this uh, before messing up with with Knight D four. And after this looked, uh, this looked yeah, equal. After Anan played Queen G five, which we thought was not a very ambitious move, we reached this end game. Uh, still some complications with the idea that if d5, you just play the queen back to d3. <clears throat> and if if the knight goes to f5, then queen f3 and all black's pieces are hanging. So right. uh, without the idea or of... Or 95, uh, queen h3, yeah. Even better winning. So without these knight f4 or 95 moves being a problem, rook e5 looked best. And then knight takes d takes e6 looks like a very risky move, but from... For the best of our abilities, it looks like everything was holding for white and he would maintain a pawn advantage for minimal compensation for black. So a real chance for Caruana there. Yeah, maybe queen e7, who knows. Uh, then we have, uh, that was it then. So pretty, pretty so, interesting pretty interesting tournament. Presented as we saw, but uh, in the end, it was probably always going to be a draw. And then, cop, and then our last game was a mixed affair. Looked like uh, pretty equal early on. Maybe yeah. Kramnik had some play. Where? Um, yeah, this key moment here with B five and D four was uh, excellent. G six um, was interesting. Yeah, too. an ex excellent little passage of play by Caruana around here, starting with move fifteen B five, and now with Queen C four. Uh, he actually gained a small advantage. So rook takes e4, and now queen takes e7 was the move that we uh, or knight didn't g5 like. Knight g5. We really like knight g5 